Hey guys, uh, today I'm just making a showcase on my car. I don't know what car you would name it. Um, yeah, it's just basic, basic car. And I'll just be driving it. As you can see, if I freeze it now, it's uh, it shouldn't be too bad. It's got a 4x4 mode. Oh, well, basically it just lifts up the suspension just so that we can have a uh, better ride on off-road track so if you see now it's quite li high lifted um, <laughs> it looks funny when it's in that mode but it's it's much better on, uh, on the road anyway I'm going to leave it on that uh, mode yeah anyway this is my car um, it's about 433 props yep 433 props got two, two chairs in at the moment oh, other two are just visual and yep let's get into it just gonna take it for a test drive and yeah it should be fun don't judge my driving so bad Oh, before we start this, um, let me just turn the sound down a bit. I'll turn it up a little bit. Okay, should be good. It is a bit laggy, so I'm going to take it slowly. Or I don't have the best PC in the world, but at least I'm broadcasting. <laughs> Once I get a better PC, I will obviously do better. But at the moment, I don't. Just showing you guys my car. It's nothing about any speed or anything. Yeah, it's, uh, so basically. It took me about, I think, a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks or so, or two weeks, so not too long. But it's been, I've modified it over time. Better than your average build, I'd say. There are some people that are good out there, like Spider and stuff. He builds really nice cars. Um, another guy that builds good cars, I think his name is Roca, Roca, something. He builds nice cars. And there's just a lot of casual players that don't really do YouTube videos that uh, have great cars. Yeah, anyway, so there, but that's my car. It's got a. Uh, wait, let me show you. See if I can show you. Let's slow down first. Okay. So it's got a steering wheel, as you can see. That works. It's got RPM stuff that works. Uh, fuel thing that works. And a gear shifter that works. Yeah. I'll just stop it again and you guys can have another look if you want. Uh, actually I'll go stop it by the control board. You guys can have a nice look at it. And everything that's in the dupe. I'll explain a bit about it. Um, and yeah, and that's it for the showcase. Do I want to bump it into the walls? <laughs> run away okay so now let me explain a bit okay it's got uh, hydraulic suspension which is kind of fake but uh, it's good enough 
it's uh, yeah it's very adjustable which is nice um, I have made a, a car with prop prop uh, prop suspension worked out pretty well um, well, let me just put it into a low set setting so it looks better and then we can carry on wow okay there we go so that, that's how it looked when it was in the lower still a bit higher but it's pretty good um, yeah so basically this is the whole car it's got uh, yeah hydraulic suspension it's got an ACF engine in I uh, don't know what it looks yeah it's a V8 uh, 9 litre V8 and yeah gear, ACF gearbox and everything over here we've got our this is I had a better steering chip that uh, turned corner slowly but I don't didn't add that um, yeah this is cheetah steering apparently um, I've got a engine chip controlling the ACF and this here is for my I got I got I made an E2 just for your the hydraulic suspension and a button that controls it. Uh, yeah, that, nothing much about the car, but that's it. Um, I will show you the progress though. Okay, so basically somewhere over here I've got the old version of the car. Uh, I think this is it. Yep, this is it. Okay, this is how it looked before. Um, so it looked kind of kind of crap. I would say it was still fine, but uh, yeah, this is the old one. So you just saw the new one, and I'll tell you the reasons why I upgraded it. Once it's spawned, it's just busy ghosting at the moment. Okay, there we go. Cool. So. The colour, like uh, the original colour, kind of liked because sort of my favourite colour, uh, turquoise. Um, anyway, so the whole reason why I changed it, uh, so it's basically the same design, same engine and whatnot. Okay, uh, another reason I changed it is small wheels. I, ha I had placed the tiniest wheels possible for this car, and it looks retarded. <laughs> um, uh, what else? What else? Okay, so it's also it was also hydro suspension when when I had it like this, and that's how it looked. So I upgraded it, added some features like a windscreened uh, convertible thing at the back, and some uh, and I fixed up a lot of the uh, bodywork. Yep. Oh, also another thing is I. I don't know if you guys saw uh, the back of my my number plate. I used pack editor and I made my own number plate. And while well, I used I used the model, I just uh, used pack editor to like write on it. And yeah, so this was the old version. Um, yeah, not the best looking car, but yeah. And I think uh, that's it for my tutorial, or no, not tutorial, <laughs> my showcase. Um, if you guys want any tutorials on uh, hydro suspension or um, anything on, let's say, a uh, basic build of a car, uh, just let you guys just let me know in the comments, and I could maybe try making a tutorial with this. Uh, lag and stuff. Oh, there's another thing I do want to show you just before I go. Uh, lately I've been working on a prop engine and I got this, uh, well to me, to me in my amazement I got a prop engine that uh, that has a really nice uh, RPM to it. I think this is, no this isn't the one. Um, redone engine 4, I think that's it. Nope, that's not it. Uh, here we go. Yep, this is it. Okay, so I got I redone my engine, and okay, it's gonna be a bit la. Oh, wait, I actually changed my volume down. Anyway, so this is a uh, it's a box uh, box eight, uh, powered by Spider zero eight zero four's engine chip, um, or that he modified, 
and I oh, just want to do one small adjustment. I didn't do this at the beginning. Sorry about the lag, guys. Uh, and I just want to just check the weights quickly. Yeah, oh, the weights are so bad on this. Just put it to 50 for now. Okay. So this engine, I had a lot of problems with it before, like timing problems and whatnot. But I actually lately I've gotten it to work quite amazingly well. So if I just turned it on here for you guys, uh, so I'll just put the thrust to maximum clear and right. so it kind of looks retarded. But if you have a look now at me like lowering it and stuff, it's got a pretty stable RPM. Yeah, so what I liked about it is if you, I'll, I'll start it again, but if you have a look nicely at the RPM, most engines jump between 400, 600, 700, 800, and 1000. So if they if they peak if their peak RPM is at like 800, it will drop down to it down 100 sometimes but uh, yeah this was my first engine that I actually really got a pretty stable RPM like if you only had check it's like only 0 .00 of a or zero zero one of a decimal point so I'll just start again you guys can have a look at that Yeah, so for me that was pretty stable, and yeah, I think it's a it's a good engine. Um, yeah, I think that's all for today. Uh, that's all I got to show you guys. I've got a lot more cars, but I'll rather do that in more showcases. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, enjoy your day. Peace out.